What's going on, everybody? Sparks Comics yeah. here. Hey, everyone. We are going to be talking about the full volume of Stray Dogs, which is one through five today. Yes. Such an awesome series. Painful uh, series. Such a painful series. Such a beautifully written series. We're going to get into all of that, break it down for you guys. But first, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Hit the like button. Drop a comment below. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And then we're the all the dropping clicks. all the notifications for you. So um, stay tuned. We're going to get to talking about this book. back so if you guys been watching you know we talked with tony and trish after i think it was issue two going into mm -hmm. three and they yeah. told us you're not yeah. ready for the rest of the book yet they weren't wrong no they were not they weren't wrong holy crap um it starts out following the story of Sophie as she's, you know, getting into a new home and she um, meets all these other dogs and seems like it's a good time until a scarf gets put around her neck and she remembers some very, very bad things. She remembers her lady and she remembers this strange, strange man who's taken her home, killing her lady. And all the other dogs are like, that's not possible. Master's the best. And so I really like how they play into, you know, dogs, you know, being loyal creatures, you know, man's best friend. And as well as the science behind, like, memory of dogs and short-term memory and all that stuff in your pets. Yeah. That is a very powerful story tool here mm -hmm. uh, to help, you know, prove why these dogs don't remember anything, but when they get something that triggers their memory, their yeah. things start to go differently. Um, <laughs> issue two, uh, we've got some other dogs maybe starting to believe what's going on. Um, I did want or to even not believing that it's true for them, but believing Sophie in the sense of like, hey, maybe, maybe what happened to your lady is true, but I don't know that that happened to my lady. Perhaps. Yeah. And I did like, I was going to pull this out to show, this issue is when we got the, like, lineup of the dogs at the beginning. Oh, like, yeah. When you see those, like, team-ups in, in, like, the other comics, you get... Yeah, that's three. really, I always find that helpful. So cool. We got all the dogs there. Sophie, Rusty, Earl, I'm not really showing up clear there. Roxanne, Aldo, Killer, Henry, Other Henry, Gucci... Victor and Imogen. 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 Um, and it's just such a lovable cast of dogs. Um, mm -hmm. They all seem like they got these distinct personalities. Um, real dogs do. Right. They all. I think. They, they seem real. I have cats. Yeah, we both have cats, but <laughs> I had a dog before. And, uh, dogs. <laughs> yeah, they just all seem like, you know, they're not just comic book characters, that they're <laughs> real dogs that have these unique personalities. And that's just to set us up to be really devastated after that. Yeah, issue Hi, three. Tony. Why? <laughs> Why did you write something so cute yet painful? Issue three, we get the backstory of one particular dog. Um, I don't know. We want. Well, let's just make this a full spoiler discussion on on everything because I think we got to talk about what happens here. We meet Victor, the Dalmatian. We get to, well. We've met Victor, but we get to really meet. Baby. Victor. We get this beautiful baby. 
who has been through so much already in his life. He was a firehouse dog. He was. He Which saved number? lives. He he lost the leg. He was a tripod. Well, yeah, like, he was a tripod puppy. He's got a little nub. It was, it was the... Uh, I thought we got that here. Oh yeah, yeah, because he it's burnt. They were digging under the the front porch area or the back porch, and they, you know, found something, and it turned out to be something that belonged to his former uh, mm-hmm. master owner. Um, and they knew there were graves. Yes, they were able to tell that much. So this guy was digging graves under his house like <sighs> under his back porch wall space and then this is when victor remembers and it's just it's so cute it's so tragic it's a, such a heartfelt like story but then he remembers Hit the guy killing her and he tried to stop her and he says no we got to get out of here and we get this really tragic moment happening where he's remembering all this. And then this, I thought this was a really cool comedy moment where Vic try to call 911. Yeah. And it's just a bunch of dogs barking into a phone. Yeah. They're like, oh, they're not going to understand us. Oh, crap. Uh-huh. And uh, Imogen, Imo, Imogen? Imogen. Imogen. I, Imogen. Never, I never say that right. <laughs> Um, is like, these guys are going to cause trouble. Master's going to be upset and tries to tell Master to hopefully, you know, stop them before they do something that can't be stopped. And it causes him to know what they're doing, that they're calling 911. He hung, hangs up the phone, puts a leash on Victor, takes him to the, the shed. Him, we think he's going to the shed. So we've seen him take a dog to the shed mm-hmm. for punishment. And instead he takes the dog behind the shed. And it's just, I I needed to hug yeah. some pets after this. Yeah, I, I promptly found my cat afterwards. I was like, okay. And then they got. Then they go and show all these beautiful, cute little dogs here. Yeah, like, pretty animals. Look. After that, like you can just kill one in the uh, story. And that was halfway through, uh, or just over halfway through, I guess, the series. At that point, now, yeah. like, what else can they do in this wild story? Oh, you thought that was as dark as they could go? Can we go darker? You see issue four. Can, can we go darker? I mean, oh, can I we mean, go darker than this? I think so. They went darker. Yeah. We went George R. R. Martin dark. We, yeah. we get some more uh, painful after the events of issue three. Yeah. All of the dogs are really on. How can this get any worse emotionally? Physically, situationally. I mean, it's like, all right, let's 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 get some more backstory here. <laughs> well, I guess that wasn't uh, Imogen. I was saying Imogen earlier. It was Earl. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, brain. I was wondering why you'd brought her name up again. I was like, mm. but, it, but she comes remember. into play here. She comes into play here, and especially in the last issue, which mm-hmm. was amazing. And I also, when we get there, I don't know where where she ends up at the end of all of that. I don't think oh. we find out where they end up at the, all of that, really. No, but Earl's been with with the master the longest, and so yes. his memory of before is he's like, I, I've always been here. I mm-hmm. this is all care of me. Oh. I, he fed me. He raised me. He's brought you guys to me. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that's not really the case. They finally start investigating the shed. You know yeah. where 
where that locked room where he took Victor, all of that, and it got so much darker. Yeah. Not only did he kill Victor. Skinned him. He went we full got... Cruella de Vil on that dog. Yeah. This is uh, even... A timely re- moment, it. though, because Cruella did just come out. That is true. It was a very <laughs> timely uh, thing. There. And uh, Earl is starting to, you know, look at that room. It was open. He's remembering things now. He's remembering mm-hmm. when he came to the house. Or actually, not when he came to the house, but when he first met the master. And it's it's really sad because I don't think he even fully knew at the time what was happening he's, oh no i mean like he was literally just a puppy at the time he's too. a puppy he's being fed treats and his his lady's getting killed and he, he doesn't know. know and he's just like okay and he goes and meets a house full of other dogs none of them are there anymore yeah And we know why that they're not there anymore. Yeah. And there's Victor. And that's how you turn Earl against you, is uh, Hello. that was the final straw. My name is Earl. You killed my friends. Prepare to die. <laughs> this is just I'm... like, this is hitting me just re-, re- going through this. Yeah, it's it's a heavy story. And then issue five. A 28 page nightmare of terror. I mean my dude. This was a little bit better than the last two issues. Yeah. I think we got some uh, we got some revenge. We got some justice going on we've got uh kind of a happy ending kind of sad but kind of happy in there a little bit yeah um painful to read very action-packed yes um earl fully realizing how bad the master is trying to get all of them out of the house and realizing can't and then now i I can bring her up because yeah she comes to save the day look at that look at that tanking badass um it's just and and earl is just so freaked out jumps well the window's the only way out my dude yeah, and Going he does that to try to save the all of them, and it it definitely hurts him a lot. I mm-hmm. mean, went through a window. Yeah. It's still such a tragic story oh, here. We got dogs getting shot, dogs jumping into traffic. Um, a car accident. Yeah, like a uh, massive car accident. They live on apparently a very busy highway. Or road, at least. I don't know how to call it a highway. Yeah, and it's like, how how does he live that close to that? But, like, nobody's figured out this that's going on. Like, Because he's uh, doing it in the backyard. Uh, how is this... Jeffrey Dodd. person get away with How does anything... I, this whole whole thing i was just like how stop it very well done y'all made us love these animals very quickly and made them tragically pained out just just it's just yeah but then resolution yeah and then sophie looking pretty happy with her new family happens 
to run into an old friend at the dog park. Rusty. Yeah, it's like, I feel like I know you. Yeah. And I, I love how that just plays back into the like, oh, Short -term memory. Yep. forgot. But I'm they do. Every day, I don't remember you. Yeah. And she's like, before she leaves the park, she's like, but friend, mm -hmm. I want to go play with friend. I want a friend. Um, and the other interesting thing after this was that, you know, that's the end of volume um, one. Yeah. We got a one shot coming about, looks like other Henry. I love other Henry. <laughs> other Henry. Um, so I, I, it seems like maybe we're going to get some more backstory of the dogs that we haven't mm -hmm. gotten. And Tony and Trish had said that they were going to do a couple of those. And then there's also a free comic book day coming mm -hmm. out. I think about the original members of the house is what they said. Yeah. So free comic book day is going to give us some more in this world. Stray yeah. dogs, dog days, even more. Mm -hmm. Potentially... Like you said, they're, they're more, more cute, cuddly, painful movies. comic books. But the main storyline does wrap up in a good spot. Um, a well resolved spot. Painful the whole thing was. We do end in a good spot. They didn't kill Sophie, so we don't have to riot. Yeah, we did yeah. say that. If, if Sophie died, we would riot. Mm -hmm. No so rioting on our end. <laughs> <laughs> um, Overall, overall thoughts on Stray Dogs? I loved it. I'm glad it's a uh, been optioned. Get yeah. the covers while you can because those are going up, 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 y'all. Yeah. And if you can't trade when it comes out, because it's really good. It's a fun story. Yeah. If you have cool people. I think September maybe. That's I don't know. Maybe it's not been announced yet. It's it's sometimes would come in handy with your stuff. Yeah, sometime I'll talk about it when it's on FOC. <laughs> this one, I'm it lucky I got when I did because now it's the gone. Gray is going for money. All the horror variants are it going. Won. For. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, I loved everything about this story. Mm -hmm. The fact that I could love these characters so quickly and then feel so many things when bad things happen to them meant Just that immediately attached and then taken away. Tony and Trish did such a good job. Um, so thank you guys for bringing us this story that made us cry, made us laugh and I'm glad it, you know, made it ended right pet. yeah, made us uh, hug our pets a little harder. Mine's down by my feet right now. She's looked at the window. <laughs> but it was it was a good good reading i would mm -hmm. highly recommend it for anybody especially people with pets but not but, your kids but not your kids <laughs> you knew where i was going with that one um do it to them no <laughs> they're not ready we weren't ready we're ready <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching us talk about stray dogs the full volume one review mm -hmm. here. Uh, appreciate you all watching and subscribing if you have. If you haven't, all go hit the buttons. Leave a comment, Un press the like, click all the buttons. Type Let all us know stuff. what you thought down below. Bye, Thanks, everyone. everybody.